Hello there, Taurus. This is Anonymous Tarot here with your anonymous timeless reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Cross watches are always welcome. Taurus, let's see what we have going on for you. I will be doing a random freestyle tarot spread and then I will continue with oracles if necessary, okay? Oh, come on now. <laughs> What's with the drama? Five of Wands. I wonder what's fueling it behind it. Somebody could be fighting with themselves or a altercation or drama is going to push somebody to make a decision, to plan ahead. I'm just getting this inner conflict or even external, but this overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the five of wands. So that's competition sometimes. I'm just getting ants in the pants, really. <laughs> ants in the pants. Page of Cups, a heart to heart. An apology. It could go south, okay, with the, <laughs> with the Knight of Swords. Maybe someone's intention is to open up, come forward, and apologize. But it could end in an argument if one doesn't watch out with the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Let's see. Two of Swords. Somebody here doesn't want to deal with a person's in and out behavior. Knight of Wands, in and out behavior. Two of Swords. Somebody here could have been blocked. Maybe somebody doesn't want to listen to them. I'm hearing, I'm not falling for it anymore. I don't want to hear it anymore. So let's say this person was a bit of a schmoozer or they're used to apologizing willy nilly and coming back in. Wow. Okay, let me sit properly for this one. I'm getting an excuse machine or somebody who they come in, they dip, they say something, they get away with it, they come in again, they dip, it feels very, uh, this person has feelings, okay, they do, but they just don't act right. Knight of Wands is I'm not really the most reliable knight, I'm hiding feelings. This could be a runner, and somebody here is just done dealing with a runner, not wanting to talk to them or listen to them. Tell me more. Three of Wands. This person could have been dilly-dallying, going back and forth, unreliable. There's this energy of maybe somebody just waiting in vain on them. It's like this person had you somewhere waiting. And the Three of Wands, it's like I'm waiting, waiting to hear from them, waiting to see some action, waiting. But here they are, looking hella unreliable with the Two of Pentacles. I get this vibe of just like, I don't want to wait on them. I don't want to be in this energy of waiting on them, waiting for the apology, waiting for them to actually mean it, waiting for them to stop doing what they've been doing. Something to that effect here. Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. The Lovers. Queen of Wands, yeah, boo, you do you, Temperance. Somebody here, like, look, you have this person so stressed out, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm hearing I chose my damn self. Queen of Wands to the Nine of Cups, what do I want? What am I going to do? There's this energy of this queen, man or woman, being empowered, trying to find that inner, you know, bad B, whatever it is. It's like this confidence that I'm getting. Like, how about I be selfish? How I focus on my desires, my wishes? my dreams how about i attract what i want in a person like this person might even be worried because you're looking this good queen of wands energy is very attractive this person's spying page of swords is trying to collect information i feel like part of your healing journey could have a lot to do with your sense of self-worth um and you finding what you want from maybe relationships for some of you, you could have even dated another person with the lovers. There could be a choice here needing to be made, but I see you having options or at least, you know, finding that inner baddie again <laughs> to move forward, heal oneself and be open to fulfilling your desires in more ways than just this person. And I'm seeing that making this person itch. Because the nine of swords is anxieties, is I'm not sleeping, and this has somebody like 
what are they doing why are they looking this good this person could be looking at your social media wondering if you're dating somebody else but i'm hearing they've done it to themselves this is somebody who acts a little immature they're coming up as pages hiding their feelings are not really grounding a situation with you. This is definitely somebody who played a few games here. So I remember the Page of Swords. Queen of Cups, the world. The Empress. There could be multiple people around, which is why maybe there's a baby mom here or a baby dad. But it's given me maybe somebody who A cycle is closing out with the way things have been going, okay? I'm seeing another person here, and I'm not really sure why, but I'm having now two feminine energies out, and it felt like a completely different person from who this is. Empress energy is here, Hierophant, Chariot, Emperor. Damn. That's a lot of major arcanas. Why, why is this out? For some of you, there's another feminine stalking you. As I say that, Queen of Pentacles. So there could be a mother figure or somebody that this person, this could literally be this person's mom. I don't know. There's another energy here of relevance. There are multiple people here. Now I have three queens out, two of wands. What am I to do? I'm split between two people for some of you. Where this is men, please flip the genders. It doesn't matter. I'm just getting this weird vibe of I can't make certain actions or I can't take certain actions without it affecting another person, whether it affecting my mom, my sister, my baby mom, my baby dad, somebody I live with, a roomie. I don't know. It just affects other people, especially a maternal energy here. What's going on? I also feel that there could be multiple women watching a person. Knight of Coins in the reverse, Seven of Cups. Oh my God. I'm getting this weird energy of... Who is he going to choose? Who is she going to choose? Who is going to get the ring on it? Who is going to get the ultimate commitment? With the Seven of Cups, I don't know if this person even fully has it figured out. Because the Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. It's like that op that offer that never made it to somebody's way. It's like somebody is so unreliable. You don't know if you're ever going to get it. Whether it's a ring, whether it's commitment, living together, whether it's them actually investing in the relationship. This is It's always confusion because there are so many people that this person might be able to choose from or commit to. And... I feel like you were maybe onto this, so you withdrew and decided to focus on you and being selfish where you're concerned. Because I'm getting this strong pick-me energy from all the queens. One could have like an edge over the other, maybe financially or where children are concerned. It's like this weird like competitive energy amongst these feminines. I had the fire wands at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. It's giving eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Because this person doesn't pour efforts into any of them, truly. It's like this person isn't consistent with any of these people. Maybe not even you, because that's why you're now focused on you, right? I'm seeing that transition. I'm seeing you done. You're not wanting to hear about it. It's like this Knight of Pentacles is never coming to me. Like you pretend otherwise. I'm just getting this really weird energy. And I'm seeing one feminine focused on herself looking forward. Right? But uh, these two are looking at you. These two are facing the Queen of Wands. So I don't know if this is a mom or this baby mom's mom or a friend. But there's this energy of like it's giving mean girls. I need my damn. What is going on here?
what is going on here wow so a situation is closing off for good someone is no longer rehashing something it says i can't believe it's truly over and it says i intend to fix all of my mistakes someone here isn't cleaning up their mess someone isn't cleaning up a mess so it could be over for good yeah there is definitely like having multiple options out here i want to repent for my sins it's like i get this energy of somebody wanting to do better but they have to reject others for some of you there could have been a person who was taking another one for granted financially it's like maybe somebody is struggling financially because they're giving everything to another person who they owe money to yeah there's definitely competitive energy here i fight for what i want in life and that includes love there are other people here wanting the same person some of them play dirty some of them hold on to secrets hold it over this person it has a lot to do with maybe a childhood trauma that was never fully addressed like i just get this energy of somebody who has maybe mommy issues like there are maternal figures here that i can't excuse that are very watchful they give me like vulture energy and i see somebody just facing away from the drama despite them still being relevant in another person's world this king of swords is incredibly off balance Someone here could not be speaking to another person anymore. They could be rude, sharp with their tongue, wanting to bring justice or making a final decision in a situation that was really unbalanced. It, it affected one too many people. It could have affected three women or there are three women involved, whether these are sisters, moms, baby moms, whatever the heck it is. It's giving me this energy of, I need to find the way to bring balance to something that is very unbalanced and i feel like you could be mixed up in here somehow it has everything to do with this person needing to make certain decisions i feel like this that this person's problem is not making firm decisions this king of swords was very off balance it's like i don't know if this person just doesn't want to disappoint others or they're just too vague or they're just too there's something about this person either not cutting people off when they need to, not asserting boundaries when they need to, not speaking up and being clear and intentional. This person has a problem with being intentional about what and who he pours into and invests in. And that's this person's problem. And that's what's making other people upset. I see balance coming here with this person. This person is probably losing money. This person could be juggling multiple jobs. Someone here is, in a way, their pockets are affected based on this vague behavior. Strength in the reverse. Someone is saying this person could be weak, either weak-minded. Um, there's this energy of their strength. They feel strength in being able to provide. So they're trying to upkeep that but they feel very weak. Strength in the reverse could be also a pride issue here. Let me get to the bottom of this because I find this a very odd reading. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on and some closure issues, being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal. I don't know who you are in this situation, but I feel like certain things are going to start making sense to you, whether it's the repetitive behaviors, whether it's, you know, somebody talking on another person's behalf, coming out of nowhere. Like there's this weird energy of um, you finding certain things out so you can adapt and move forward and heal from whatever this person did, said, didn't do. <laughs> it's like, this person's lesson is in loss, maybe even financial loss, due to 
not being intentional with a person, not being responsible with their feelings. Like I'm getting this odd energy of consequences. Yeah. Somebody here could have had multiple karmic relationships in their life that they never chopped off. It's giving, you might have a karmic parent or a karmic ex or a karmic something that you haven't fully addressed. Hence the financial issues, the loss, and for some even theft with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here needs to learn the hard way. Someone here feels weak in their position. I can't make it up. Someone here feels weak in their position. This is the poverty card. And I don't think it's you guys. I think it's somebody who maybe strung people along. Okay? Strung people along. Didn't make any firm conclusions. Official person in the reverse. There could be a marriage of significance that has somebody feeling like, you know, this is somebody who maybe they aren't stepping up to the plate like they should have. They probably have either they're they're committed to someone else and they could have willy-nilly something or this is them just not stepping up in an existing relationship whether you're committed to them and they're not stepping up and because of their actions or their poor choices they're now met with issues maybe even financially see the cat the rat it's like this person is the company they keep it's the company somebody keeps that is affecting their pockets, their prosperity, their abundance, emotional well-being, because he or she is not being intentional about what I choose to invest in. And I feel like this person did have feelings for you. I really don't know who you are in this because I'm a bit like, huh? It's just this person needs to make firm decisions. This person could also, let me expand on the King of Swords. What is this person going to do? Because this could have been passed. What is this person to do? Wow, Ten of Swords. This person is maybe fearing. I'm also in fearing for one's life, which sounds very dramatic, but I'm just getting this energy of their fears rely in this in a horrific ending. Like for somebody, this is somebody who was trying to keep the peace with everybody. This person is gonna end up horribly betrayed. The Ten of Swords. This person's gonna feel all ten swords in his or her back. And I don't really know what this person is to do moving forward. Yeah. This is, this is coming up fumbled. It has everything to do with them not following their intuition. Not accepting the signs. Two of Cups. This could have been a soulmate of, of another person. Tell me more. This person has soul's recognition. This is someone who still wants to see the light of a union with you. But they need to feel it first. I'm just getting somebody who could have extended their karmic consequences. It's like you didn't learn the first two, three times the sword stabbed you in your back. You want all ten swords in your back before you move forward, before you listen to your intuition, before you make certain cutoffs. Like I'm just getting this like repetitive pain, stagnancy forced to look at things differently because they refused to grow up or cut people out like i really get somebody who has issues here childhood issues maybe abandonment issues mommy issues daddy issues i don't care what it is i just feel like this is somebody who wants to win at a union but have been going against their intuition from thy kingdom come and it's like they need to jump for some of you, this is somebody who is not giving up without a fight. Maybe they need to defend their beliefs and just jump. Like, I'm just seeing this energy just doing something sporadic after being completely, like, rammed. Someone is getting effed. No loop. In the ass. It's like, wow. And then, it's like, and then you move forward. And then you become intentional. And then you fully learn your lessons. Something's going to happen where this person's just going to like free fall and, and aim to have success with you. And I just feel like by then you're already moving forward um, what you do. But yeah, I'm talking about you, man. Empress. This is somebody who doesn't know how to treat an empress. Maybe by then you would have met with somebody else. More mature. I'm just getting this energy of whoever you are, you gave this person wise counsel. You could have warned them of karmic relationships. You could have warned them of repetitive cycles. 
I feel like this person is gonna get done so dirty. It's not even funny. For some of you, this person is to call you, talk to you with the snake here. It's just, it's always around. There's always a third energy around. That's what this person needs to learn. I also see a jealous person around. What does this person have to say for themselves? Let me see if I can get that. I just see that I just feel this um this is somebody who has one last hurrah coming from a karmic. Exactly as I described. I'm getting karma for all of my past mistakes. This is somebody who stubbed their toe against the same effing rock one too many times before they really learn. For some of you, they could have money problems or they could have issues with legalities. I don't like that I'm seeing this guy in an orange jumpsuit, but it's really telling me the divine is kicking your butt because you constantly refuse to see the signs. This is somebody who needs to get slapped in the face. Is this somebody who needs tough love to wake up? They're, they're getting karma. Yeah, they're getting haunted. They're seeing synchronicities. I told you they're ignoring the signs. It says synchronicities haunt me. I think about you daily. They're getting help from the divine, showing them signs, but they refused to act on them. It really gives me a willy-nilly person. I don't want to step on any toes person or I'm trying to be Mr. Liked or Mrs. Liked or Mrs. Cool or Mr. Cool, Mrs. We're good with everybody. Like, no. It paved the way for karmic energy to completely annihilate this person's life. They weren't learning the lessons. It's like they saw it, they saw the signs, but they were like, I can stick it out a little longer. It's really dumb. Like, I feel like this is somebody who You'll hear from them again. It's just what state are they coming in on? Because this is what they would have gone through by then. I can I can I can feel the energy of a feminine perhaps who is just like It's like when they come back you're just like, "Wow. Look at all, you know, like look at everything that you have to go through to get to this point for you to finally learn." Stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance for some of you you're calling in a whole other person but they just want you to remain positive with the processes because i see another feminine really focusing on her healing journey and finding her sense of self-love again can i have a message For that person for the person watching you can be your own knight yeah i feel like y'all waited for this person to come and do right by you and i see you guys saving your damn selves i said it it's like if i want to get out of this damn tower and have a change of scenery i will do it because i'm not waiting on this person anymore that's my truth i'm gonna move forward yeah you never needed those wings to fly. I see you guys leaving wherever you were at, waiting on somebody and just, you know, embracing life for what it is. This person will come back. It's just they're not done with their karmic lessons because they accumulated more. And those who resonate with this reading will understand that you have to move forward and not wait in a way where your own life is held up don't hold up your life based on the choices this individual made or the lack of choices to cut people out okay don't hold up this is you all the hair you've grown over time <laughs> waiting on this person it's like you can protect yourself you can use your own discernment make your choices with this sword i see you guys realizing that damn i didn't need all these things to find happiness i i'm i'm finding that bliss on my own and I see that you guys likely have other suitors coming in. So keep that in mind, all right? So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.